Hey, girl, you trying to hit this? Oh, you know exactly what I need. And then we'll get into uh, it. Cool. Nice. I think we should include the burp. Yeah. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Welcome back to Two Girls, One Blunt, guys. We have a very special... I feel like I say that every episode. I'm like, we have a very special episode for you. I think this is a very special episode. It is. Every Our- episode's amazing because we're amazing. <laughs> Thank you. That's so all tell I'm your saying. friends... And the people who will also buy our OnlyFans. Oh, yeah. I say that every episode, too. because <laughs> It's like, hint, hint, guys, sub to our OnlyFans. Yeah. <coughs> Speaking of OnlyFans, <laughs> we have uh, our dear friend, Ara. She goes by Ara Queen Bay on, on Instagram. She's a model, influencer, OnlyFans creator, business owner. She fucking does it all and... And she's a smart ass bitch too, so uh, we're very happy to have her on the podcast today. This hey is Ara. Guys, I'm so excited to be here. All right, we've been talking about doing this for like months. Oh, I know yeah. since October, <laughs> and finally <laughs> we're doing it. It's, just, it's so hard with people who have we both have ADHD and we're stoners. So like, same. We'll forget full <laughs> conversations we have with each other. I like talk to Emily and she's like, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm like, we had an hour long conversation about this yesterday. <laughs> That's my whole life. I'll just be doing something. And I'm like, what was I doing? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> also with travel, like we were both, all three of us were traveling like crazy different schedules. It's just moving hard. Oh yeah. You moved to Miami. Yeah. We're yes. all Miami gals. Ooh. Cause you are from Canada, Toronto. Um, from Alberta, Alberta, from a town eight hours North of Calgary. If you've ever heard of Calgary called Fort McMurray. Oh, is it like a small town? Small town, all like um, construction, oil and gas. So are you like a 15 Boys. out of 10 in Alberta? Oh, I'm like way, like 100. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is it like when you go back home and you visit? Um, it's, it's crazy. Honestly, I don't want to go outside because everybody knows who I am. Really? <laughs> are you yeah. on like the, the, do they have a Wikipedia page? Um, no, they don't have a Wikipedia page, but everybody small? knows me because I used to like, because there's only like three high schools. So, <laughs> only so. my town on one. And everybody my stayed. My town had two. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. I had we 76 kids in my grade. Yeah. Oh, oh okay. You win. <laughs> but yeah. I'm not on the Wikipedia page yet. <laughs> me neither. Oh, we'll get there. But I'm on another page. <laughs> 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 it's only fancy. <laughs> <laughs> Tell everyone where to find you. And yeah, shout yourself out. Onlyfans.com, Booty Queen Bay is my OnlyFans. Instagram is Ara Queen Bay. If you just Google Ara Queen Bay, you'll find everything you need. A R A. Where can we find your music? Ara Queen Bay as well on Spotify and Apple Music. Run up those streams. Actually, every single streaming, whatever, Amazon, Alexa. What um, Siri. genre is your music? It's like house, it's like beach house. Tropical, Tropical house. Tropical house, okay. Yeah. What's that? Um, It gives me Kygo vibes. Yeah, that's that's literally my favorite type of music because I'm always traveling and I'm always by the ocean. So I want to hear like, yeah, and it puts you in good vibes. And like even when you're not by the ocean and you're like stuck in Canada in the snow, it's still a vibe because you can just turn off what's going on outside. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) So are you a cold weather person or do you like the warm? I love the warm. I love the beach. I love wearing minimum clothing. Like the least amount of clothing I can wear, I'm there. (sighs) Okay, so we've noticed that we feel like at our most empowered, most sexy, most confident, literally when we're wearing string bikinis that cover nothing. I think I'm the hottest piece of ass when I go on the content trips. (laughs) I'm literally like, I'm God's gift to earth. I am that bitch. Men should worship me. And then I get home and then I'm like, you gremlin. (laughs) I'm a potato. (laughs) No, I feel hotter and hotter. Like as the days goes on, on those content. Yeah. Okay. You sexy bitch. Is that (laughs) waist getting smaller? That ass getting fat? Yes. Yes. (laughs) And then everyone around you is so like, uh, supportive. Uplifting. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And people are like, oh, you're so hot. Like people will be like, oh, I'm insecure about this, but you don't have that. And I wish I had this on you. And I'm like, I'm insecure about this. And I'm looking at you thinking the same fucking thing. I love it. And then you realize we're all just fucking hot. Yeah, we're all hot as fuck. No matter what we look like, we're all bad bitches. Even though yeah. I do feel insecure on those trips, and then I look back at the photos and I'm like, Emily, you look so good. What the fuck? I don't. <laughs> I don't recreate that the same type of content at home. No, I just I am know. not in the headspace to be like, 
pose yeah like sex god yeah and then someone in the background's like you get it girl yes (laughs) everyone's watching and you're like showing your titties in the camera and you're like this and you're like oh hi what's up oh my god i was actually shooting on the last trip and i was on live stream on instagram and Mm -hmm. then all of a sudden i was just feeling myself so i like took my top top off and i forgot i was on instagram live and i was like ah like, oh my god out of the frame <laughs> didn't anything happen nothing happened because like i was like turned towards the photographer which was not towards the phone <gasps> oh shit so it was great holy shit <laughs> i remember in vegas i was shooting on one of the pirate ships and i turn and i look down at the lake and it's literally you and you're like yes bitch and it's fucking like john cotter like <laughs> taking photos of me topless and i just i fucking love the support i love it <laughs> i love titties when anytime i see titties i'm like yes me and, yeah me and jamie are i was covered up for this podcast i know <laughs> we're covered up i have like a blood infection or something that <laughs> i look like like something from venom is like going down my chest right now because i had a burn that got infected because i went to a pool party and i just swam in Did a you cesspool with a vampire no edward Cullen, sure. where are you at i mean <laughs> maybe i feel like if my boyfriend was gonna be a vampire or a werewolf he'd be more of a werewolf i could see that so i don't know if it'd be a vampire so then that'd be like who the fuck is this vampire and why did they sexually assault me <laughs> and why are you cheating on your boyfriend wait no i'm not i would never <laughs> can we do smash your pass really quickly we can do more later don't worry okay if you had to smash your pass any of the twilight vampires who would it be i don't even know their names fuck did you see the movie yeah but like does it have to be the vampires because i really like um the werewolf guy Jake. Oh, oh, I was the team Jacob. I didn't know Jacob. I was, was so too. Hot. He was so fucking Jacob hot. Jacob, what's his real name? Taylor, Taylor Lautner. Lautner. Taylor Lautner, if you're watching See, this. See, I was obsessed with Taylor Lautner as a kid. But I feel like he got but ugly. Na- yeah, now I'm not attracted to really? him. I feel lied to. Did you guys know that Taylor Lautner is white? What? what? Like, he's white. Like, white, white. No. I had no clue. I found this out this year. What? what? Yeah. What's his ethnicity? Colonizer. <laughs> <laughs> I think we need that to be a button that you have on the Wait. soundboard. It's just like colonizer. Um, all right. This is Dean Winchester from Supernatural. And. Oh, he's hot. Oh, he's, oh, he's, he's like fun. a dill. You should watch the show just I because of how hot dill. the brothers are. But I are. loved Sam. I like. And Sam, his brother. But I so like hot. Dean's personality way better. Colonizer. Also, Austin, would you fuck him again? This. Did you do it? <laughs> you did it? Oh. Colonizer. Um, Okay, so this is from a Reddit post, so take the information how you will. This is not Wikipedia, but they said Taylor Lautner's ancestry is Dutch, French, and German with distant Native American ancestry. That's white. That's white as fuck. I am very confused. (laughs) (laughs) Taylor Lautner, I need an explanation. I know it's just immediately. Like, did he do the sun booths when he was a kid and just, like, fucked his skin? Maybe I he was mean, outside all the time I looking hot, hot and though. swole and walking around. Oh, yeah. He was hot bitches. as fuck. <laughs> I thought he was cute in Shark Boy and Love Girl when I was like that age, too. Oh, yes. I was like, I love you. Did you ever see that? I never watched that. I moved to Canada in 2004. So anything before 2004, I never saw it. I don't know when that movie came out. Sure. Where'd you move to Canada from? From Iran. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was born in Iran, and then my parents were like, we need to leave so you have a better life than we did. (laughs) (laughs) So then they decided to apply for, like, a lottery immigration to Canada, and because they had a young kid that's, like, promising to Canada's, like, Mm. country, they got accepted to move there. I have a question. Do you have to pay taxes to Canada even though you work in the U.S.? I technically don't work anywhere. I work on the Wi-Fi, but yes. Okay. But once I once I get an American visa, mm-hmm. um, I have to pay taxes to both. Uh, <clears throat> so that's like yeah. half. We your won't income. go there because <laughs> I will go there. You're an engineer, right? I am an engineer. Yeah. Let's How talk about you your. <laughs> you told me let's one time. Let's talk about and it. And when you told me that, I was like, Holy okay. Shit. Yeah. I like related to you because like I also went to school and like did stuff, and I was gonna have a different life. And now I'm I here. I did have a different life. I went to school for five years. I did chemical engineering at Dalhousie in Halifax. I don't know if there's any Canadian listeners, but love Halifax. And then I graduated and it was so hard to get a job. I didn't realize like just having a degree wouldn't just guarantee me a job. And then, <clears throat> so for that year I did bartending, serving. I was traveling, I went to Thailand. 
And I didn't get a job from applying through online. I literally got a job from networking and meeting people and talking mm. to every single person I meet. I was like, hey, where do you work? That's what you do? That's cool. I'm an engineer. Do you want to hire me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't? Okay, yeah. do you know anyone that does? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. networking is key. That's literally what I did. I, I was a server at a restaurant called Earl's and like every single I table. I love Earl's. I fucking love Earl's. And every single table, I would ma make friends with every single person. I'd be like, this is yeah. what I do. What's your number? Like, if you know anyone that needs a job, I am available to be an en engineer for you. Good. You gotta, <laughs> that's awesome. You gotta sell yourself. You but know? that's a skill that you can translate now to social media and growing your network. Yeah. And then when I was in Thailand, I got a call. I was supposed to go to Bali. And then I got a call. They were like, hey, we want to hire you. I'm like, okay, I'm coming back. And I like, it was in a different city. So I like got an apartment right away. I moved back, started the job. It was excited to have like a nine to five stable income. Mm -hmm. But then quickly I was getting mental health problems. I was super yeah. depressed. I didn't want to leave my bed. I didn't want to be at work. I would leave my desk and go for hours crying in the bathroom being like, why am I doing this? I hate mm -hmm. it here. I'd be like sitting in the bathroom, like editing my booty pictures, like uploading it on premium snap or like patreon or somewhere so you were doing social media at this time yeah so i i was oh. doing pre i was always doing social media even as a kid even like in in high school i would like post selfies and then those like brazilian babe pages would like repost it mm -hmm. and they thought i was hot and then like what was like your following around this time like three thousand okay around there and then nikki heaton actually reposted one of my photos oh one time. shit i don't even know what we're talking about I'm fucking high. <laughs> <laughs> we smoked like three blunts before this and we're um, also drinking yeah oh oh yeah so like during that time even when i was in like university and stuff i was always like into taking photos like mm -hmm. i worked with a cute like cute couple like brands that were in halifax like i was always doing some sort of influencing stuff okay i did modeling in high school and then while i was doing the engineering thing, I had already kind of grown a following that year that I had off from just learning, sorry, from learning how to, um, like run my Instagram. I learned, I would like research into how to grow and stuff. And that's when I met Patty was oh. on like a telegram group. We would like do shout out for shout outs and all this stuff. And, and then when what I, year was this? This was in 2017. And then I got my job in 2018. Okay. So then I got the job. I was already like at like 20,000 followers on Instagram. So I was kind of making half an engineer's paycheck on from social media, from premium snap, from different things. So I was like, if I just put like nine to five hours of my time mm. into learning more and building this, I could make way more than an engineer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then I went and I asked for a raise as an engineer. I'm like, I just started working. Hi, I want to rate. They're like, um, no. I did the research. I was like, I'm not getting paid what I'm supposed to get yeah. paid, you guys. Like, this is. This is why yeah. I love you. You're a fucking businesswoman. I, I was like, a female I at this age it. with this much experience in this field of work, this is what I'm supposed to be getting paid. Yeah. And you guys are underpaying me by $30,000 a year. Yes. This is how you talk to people. <laughs> so oh, I, I you got to call them out. Right. Because at the end of the year, they like sit you down, like, how's everything? Here's like a report, blah, blah. And we're giving you a raise. And she's, she, told me her my raise was 50 cents what per hour that's it hell no and i was like well based on my calculations here's the booklet i have prepared for us she yep. was like that's cool and i'm getting underpaid too uh she's like i can't help you i can't even help she myself was like, i can't i was like and you worked here for 12 years and you're cool with that oh god she was like this is like she just was like i can't it is what do it anything is. and then that's when i was like fuck this like i am not I'm not going to stay here because I always saw myself as a boss ass bitch CEO yeah. of a company. I was like, I'm not, I, there's no way I can work my way up to this pyramid. Mm -hmm. Like there's never. And you know, you're worth more, worth way more. And my, my skills aren't worth hours. They're worth more than hours yeah, in a yes. day. <laughs> right. So I, I left the job um, on a stress leave because I was like mentally like not good to work anyways. And I came to Miami. I met a bunch of cool people. I started growing my socials and like, then I was like, fuck it, I'm, not, I'm never going back. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. No I got matter what you know, it doesn't matter America. what you know. It's how, who you know and how you use the knowledge to, yeah. to move around. Mm -hmm. It's exhausting. And I was like, I don't want to do this. I want to work for myself and have my own employees. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think, though, you like you have a lot of confidence and you're a very strong, like outspoken woman. And so being able to do that and talk to them and stand up for yourself and leave like knowing your worth like there's a lot of people who are afraid to do that because they all they have like the scarce mentality that 
they're not going to be able to find another job or they're not going to be able to make it. But it sounds like you were like, I yeah. can, I'm going to fucking make this happen. Well, I, I was like, why am I so depressed all the time? I was trying to find my problem. I didn't go to like a therapist. Like I didn't go to a mm-hmm. therapist to figure it out. I was just listening to books on my way to work every day. And then like the book was like leading me like, okay, so why are you sad? And like every single thing was leading to like mm. this job. If I wasn't fucking here, I wouldn't hate my life. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So then, so I think that's why a lot of people have mental health problems and like are depressed because they're not fixing the one thing that they must like fix and it's a big change and people are scared of a big change it's scary yeah i went from having a stable four thousand dollars a month paycheck to not knowing how much i'm gonna make oh on a lighter note i did fuck somebody at my office before (gasps) i left really he was like a manager type of guy like i would like go in his office and i would if he wasn't there i would like was he hot sticky note he was bald. I was going through a oh, phase. My bald guys are my hard. Man, I saw him out. Yeah. I saw him around the office before, and then I saw him at the club. And I was like, wait, you're from my office. That's kind of hot. It's hot. Yeah. And then we started seeing each other around the office, and then I would, like, go to his, because he Ooh. had an actual office, and I had a cubicle. So I would, yeah. like, leave my cubicle, go for a little walk, like, go and go to his desk. I would, if he wasn't there, leave him a sticky note, something like dirty and nasty on his keyboard and then like if he got there with like other people in the room i was like i hope there's other people so then he just texted me like oh my god why did you leave that sticky note did you I ever know. suck him off under the desk no because it was glass windows everywhere damn oh. and i didn't want to get fired but i honestly wouldn't mind going back just that like for the experience i don't care for <laughs> i would love to fuck somebody in their office so like hot. after hours or like oh knowing someone's there wait should we should we introduce sushi <gasps> oh to the god. audience yes sushi. All right, we should describe sushi. Sushi is this little fluffy, he's white, he's white and fluffy, and little scrunchy, cutest. little fucking he's puppy, sleepy. little ball of love. Can we see him in the camera? Okay. Right in the camera. Hey, are we talking? Good boy. Hello, sushi. He's like, oh, it's my turn. Stop. He's like, I'm here. Sushi. Do you have any ASMR for the audience? He's like, mom, he's like, please. Just eat out Stop of embarrassing face me. With that thing. It's, he's so cute. I love you. Uh, He's the therapy dog for the episode. <laughs> have, oh, you, have you had you a lot tell. of like influencer flings? And has it made work weird? Oh, many. Yeah. Oh, oh, God. <laughs> yeah. God. <clears throat> yeah, many photographers. Oh, One of I them can being, see that. Do you get like free photos out of it? Yeah. The fir- actually, the very <laughs> first it. one was actually Kylie Jenner's photographer. Okay. I can't tell you exactly which one, but one of them. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. But yeah. Actually, I didn't. I had to work for those edits forever. I was like, hello, those edits. <laughs> so he uh, knows all the me. angles, though. Um, yeah. He knows all the angles, but there's been a few photographers that I've had flings with that has made things weird. While dating made things cool, and then after things, it was like, okay, what about my pictures? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no. The nice thing about the photographers I was dating was that they knew what I liked, and then they would have their own artistic opinion. They would just choose and edit for me, oh. and that was so nice. Uh, I, I just want to be like if Julia If you're a photographer, Fox. and um, you like taking pictures of hot girls, slide in the DMs. I'm single. I'm looking. But what a sugar daddy. Have you ever read a sugar daddy? I've never had one, but I want one. I want one too. I'm my own sugar daddy, dude. I know. And I feel like that's why men don't want to pay for me is they're like, she got it. And I'm like, no, I just want someone else to do it. I know. Like I got it, but I want to save it. I want to buy a house. Yeah. Or they can buy a house for us. Well, the thing, the thing about independent women is we take care of ourselves. You know what I mean? And it's so nice to have someone be like, I see how hard you work to take care of yourself. I want to like relieve some stress of like that off of you. Yeah. Relieve some stress for me. I have so much of it. (laughs) That's sexy. That's sexy. Nothing a couple orgasms or two can't take care of. Them. I love a good. I love when a man rubs my feet. Oh, really? I love, that. I love that. I love a good massage. Like if you want to fuck and I'm not down, just offer me a massage and we'll. Yeah. Be yeah. <laughs> yes, Honestly. that's the best way to do it. Literally, like at the point that you're like about to get down towards the booty area, you better have your dick out because I'm ready. Yeah. <laughs> or like when they like tease around your booty area mm-hmm. and then your thighs yeah. and then they go a little closer and it's yeah. like takes time and then all of a sudden they like brush a finger and you're like fucking dripping <laughs> wet at this point. <laughs> it's like, like old faithful. And then, yeah, at that point, I don't want to feel a finger swipe by. I want it to just be dick. I, ha- I Yeah, I, I hate but love like when they tease the fuck, like they get close to it and they're like, I'm not touching it though. Cause and then, and then eventually the one time they do touch it and you're like, <gasps> yeah, yeah. Uh, 
the element no. of surprise, the buildup for women. Like we need that. Yes. A lot of guys are like, oh, like you have all the podcasts that teach women, like guys how to date. And they're like, if she doesn't want to fuck the, that day, like call another bitch and tell her to leave. And it's like, Yo, if you just took the time to like take care of her, you got her a nice meal, you made her feel like good, you gave her a massage, you did that, like you showed her. Or just like texted her at the end of the day and was like, if you didn't text her all day, be like, how was your day? Like, just show you care. It's fucking easy. It's It's not hard to fuck girls. Like, we should just write a manual. Like, guys literally suck at it and they take advantage. I mean, they take advice from men who literally don't even know what they're talking about. They're bald and like they oh. are only attractive because they have money. Yes. Like that's not the person to go to. You need to go for the ugly dude who's funny and like has had to work his way with girls. Like those are the guys you need to take advice from mm-hmm. on how to get girls. Yeah. No, ugly funny guys. Or if, us. Or yes. us. <laughs> if they're talking about how they're a high value man, I would not trust their opinion on women. No. If they just hi- talk highly about themselves... I wouldn't, you know what I mean? Like over hyping yeah. themselves up. Like yeah. if, if you got it, like you don't need to tell, like, you know how rich people like never actually post that they're rich. Yes. They just are rich. Yes. yes. But like when someone's just posting that they're rich, like you're not, you're the Tinder swindler. Yeah. Oh <laughs> my God. You're literally the Tinder swindler. I can't believe he's getting his whole fucking like book series, Netflix show. Like what the fuck? Dude, that show reminded me of so many guys that I've dated. Um, throughout this whole like three years of doing influencing stuff that have tinder swindled me like scammed me out of money like how much really like thousands like in the 30s oh, give us a no. story in total in total probably like 40 oh with multiple different people like 40k yes so you had 40k stolen from me? crypto cash and not just stolen like one was like a business like investment that i made and he never gave me the investment back back or anything and stopped replying to my texts. damn messages everything Ooh. Just fell off the face of the planet. Deleted all his Instagram stories. What? Changed his Instagram username. Now he's like a whole different person. I feel like this is what he does. That's terrifying. There are people finds, really out there who do hot, shit. Hot only what was the girls. business? Weed. Nice. So it was during the pandemic. <laughs> and this was a guy I was kind of talking to. Not kind of. I was talking to for a year. When I started doing this OF shit, I didn't make that much money. I, would, I went to his house in Hollywood and it was sick. Like, I was like, okay, this guy obviously like makes bread i fucked him the night i met him <laughs> and then Hell yeah and then he and then as soon as we finished he was like i'm going to coachella you want to come i'm like right uh, now yeah. talk dirty to me at 2 a.m he's like i'm yeah my driver's downstairs you coming i'm like let me put my fucking pants on but yeah i'm coming <laughs> literally and figuratively <laughs> right <laughs> right but so like everything about him like there was nothing ever to question and then during the pandemic once i like i was like hopping on OF, I had all this extra money. I was like, okay, I want to di- diversify in businesses. And like, that's something I like. And he was like, you know, I'm, I'm trying to do a business move. He's from California. He's been doing it for a minute. I trusted mm-hmm. him and then it didn't work out. Yeah. He didn't send me my money back. Is he like, have you seen the cannabis company around? Like, do you know that it's up or did he just take your money and dip? No, he just took my money and dipped. Oh uh, man, you didn't have any contracts or anything like written or signed? No, we were like, no. Yeah, (laughs) no, I know. Fuck. (laughs) And then another guy, and then another guy was um, a crypto dude I was like talking to, and um, he took my crypto wallet. And he was like, oh, like you have all this, like you should be like doing this and this. He was like, don't worry, I got you. Like I'm gonna like switch these out for you. Like you're gonna, I'm gonna put it put it into different money. And he took it and sent it to himself. What the fuck? What a scumbag! And, And then he got my Instagram deleted. What? And he lied to me about his kid, about his baby mama, about all these things. Like, he was like, his whole life was a scam. And every single person I met after that told, told me that he was a scammer. He's a known scammer on Google. He's literally the tender, crypto swindler. Wait, how did, <laughs> He's how did he delete? He's the crypto swindler? <laughs> He's the crypto motherfucker. If you know a crypto swindler, please yeah, share this you with know a, Yeah, let's <laughs> stitch name? this with your crypto swindler stories. What's crypto his name? Swindler. His name is Coltlin. Do not get scanned by Coltlin. Coltlin. When you Google him, Coltlin... C O L T E N. He's like known. There's articles about him. Nine. See. Colton Jurassic. Let me see. Sim. Colton Keithley scammer. Oh, let's look at the Twitter. How to page. avoid cryptocurrency scams on Instagram was the second one. This Twitter page is I'll be proof, posting proof of Colton scamming this week. Follow me to see him get exposed. All I ask is you unfollow Colton if you don't support him stealing from people. Is it this blonde guy? I'm not hiding. Can't even mean because he's retarded. 
I'm retarded. Ah, you're right. I didn't go to high school and I still got more money than you. <laughs> Is this him? Bitch. That's him. M's, bro. Please don't get scammed by this dude. Is he on cocaine? What the fuck? Colonizer! Yeah, Mickey. <laughs> he was white, so. Yeah, I don't know. It was all a scam. Everything was a scam. Bro. That's how to avoid cryptocurrency Honestly, like, scams. with this all this crypto <gasps> stuff, like, a lot of people are getting scammed, so... All I'm saying is people do your research before you start. Um, Wait, I think I never did my research, so I guess I am doing my research after the fact. It's too yeah. fucking late. But you guys should do your research before you do anything or trust anyone with your money because cl clearly if I would have done this research, I don't know if this, when was that article put up? Because this happened to me in like There's a June. New York Times article out what, about him. What was the date on it? I'm looking. It's long. <laughs> there's it's a lot of, <laughs> there's a lot of information I wish I had. I got scammed not by someone like that big, but it was more so like I met someone on Tinder and we were friends for like four years on social media and like talked, FaceTimed all the time. I knew about his family. His dad died. Like he was taking care of his grandparents like for years telling me all this stuff. And then he's like oh, during quarantine, he wanted to come and visit. And I was like, sure. And then he was like, hey, I ended up having to pay for like my grandfather's hospital bill. Can you cover my ticket and stuff? Um and like throw me like a couple hundred bucks That's to pay him. this bill so I can come and I'll pay you on the following Tuesday when I get paid. And I was like, sure. Like, I'm, I didn't even question it. Cause I was like, I've been in that situation. He's talked about his like grandparents and like like would update me on everything that's going on. So it it's and that's fit. what a scammer always does. The scammers are always gonna it's bring their con. family into like he was like my mom left me. Um, I have she had schizophrenia. Like I all this shit and I have friends that have schizophrenia. So I was like, okay, like I'm not gonna like question how he's behaving. Like I'm not gonna ask him if he's on drugs or like. Yeah, you're like you went through some shit. Oh, yeah. man. And so he literally came. I gave him all this money. Then I was going to buy a bunch of Adderall off him. So I paid him a bunch of money for Adderall. Like total, it was like 1200 bucks. But like that was before I was even making money. Like I just started to make money on OnlyFans. Like the, it was like month one. <laughs> so I was nowhere like in a place to help somebody out like that. But I always wanted to help you're people out. You're a good friend. Like, yeah. You're a good so person. He, people take advantage of me. He people. literally comes and he's like, yo, they wouldn't let me at the airport with all the cash because I was going to bring like three grand in cash or something. And I was like, okay, whatever. He's like, I'll just Venmo you on Tuesday. Or I'll write you a check. And I'll and then he tells me he couldn't bring the Adderall. And I'm like, so you didn't bring the money. You didn't bring the Adderall. But you literally flew here. He flew to Boston. It was Like so from weird. South Carolina. or No, from Pennsylvania. And uh, we fucked. And then, yeah, ghosted me immediately after he left. Like, none of it, like, played it off completely fine. And then he was like, oh, yeah, I'll send the money. He was telling me he got lost in the mail. Oh, I wrote the check. He was sending me pictures. He's like, that's so weird. Someone, they must have picked it up in the mail. Like, they must have thought it was sketchy. I'm like, there's no way. Like. That was, like, the first month I met you. And I hit him <laughs> up for, like, six months. I was like, yo, you ever going to pay me? And I would start making jokes. And then they just stopped replying. Oh, yeah, just ghosted me. Yeah, and then one time I, I made that. a story about it and he fucking messaged me and I was like, I'll give you your money. How much is, do I owe you again? And I was like, 1200 ghosted me again. I was like, literally you just moral didn't want of the story. Do not lend people money. Do not trust people. No. Yeah. All my friends nobody. have been scammed by people for money. It's crazy. So many people are takers. Oh, the whole top of the blunt fell out. Uh, I am Party sad. foul. That's we got it. So sad. I don't want to waste this weed. Good weed. Yeah, I'm not wasting the weed. We could just maybe uh, put it in. Just, just pack that shit on in there. in there. I'm not good with Guys, that. stoners are... Emily, this is all Somebody you. You got to repair We have an engineer here. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. Somebody hold the... <laughs> I can roll it. Pause for the weed. All right, guys, I have to pour, perform some surgery. Can we play the Jeopardy music? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I just peed myself a little. <laughs> <laughs> you just peed? I just coughed that really hard. Does that happen that, to you? Dude, that has happened to me a lot. Do you I, sneeze on your period and then it's just like gusher oh, of I blood? I hate when that happens. Oh, that's <laughs> the worst. You love when that happens? What you love? What? No, I. Patty, oh my what God. is that logic? I was wearing lingerie once and I literally sneezed and it was like, and my tampon was soaked through. No, is but that how it works? Isn't it the yeah. isn't it the worst? <laughs> Mickey's over here taking notes. He's like, good to know. Make Joey <laughs> sneeze. <laughs> no, but I hate That's when I logic. think I just started my period and it's just this wah. Yeah. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> that happens all the time. Sometimes I'll get up and I'm like, I'm just soaked. And the worst part is sometimes when you're on an airplane and you just soak through your leggings because you're just wet. Oh. And then it's cold on the airplane and then you're just sitting in cold, <laughs> un- wet underwear. And it's like having wet socks and it's not fun. Oh. <laughs> I hate that feeling. Yeah, I hate when I have like a creamy um, underwear and I don't, I don't have anything to do with it's it. It's just, <laughs> you're like, I have no one to sell it to. <laughs> If you want our creamy underwear, we will start out. How much would you a sell group. a pair of creamy underwear? I've never for? sold one before, but I would love to. Can we stop saying creamy underwear? <laughs> <laughs> That's all I ask of the rest of this podcast. <laughs> okay. Do you wh- want to get into more sexual stuff? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll, we'll, oh, yeah. Yeah, I want to fuck. We'll do sex- sexual stuff, and then we'll do Stony Baloney, Smash or Pass. We're going to talk about... Uh, Dating, let's get let's get weird. Being an OnlyFans creator, do you find that it has made you like more? I guess like open to sexually explore, or were you like into stuff before you started, and it was kind of an easy transition. So I lost my virginity later than like most people. I lost it my second year of university, so I start started exploring oh, wow. things later than most people. But um. I don't know, both. Because, like, when I'm with somebody that I like, I want to explore those things no matter what, like, what, whether there's OnlyFans or not. Um, but I have done more things. I've been more open to doing things because of OnlyFans, Okay. that makes sense. What do you like normally in bed? I like being picked up and, like, fucked against the wall. Oh, you're like a strong boy. Yeah, I need that. Um, one second. I'm going to take a hit. <laughs> Everybody was watching. I got nervous. Ara, you, I thought you could handle your weed. Sometimes my lungs give out. I Sometimes I'd <laughs> suck it in and then like <laughs> balls of weed go down my throat. And yeah. I'm like, and I'm like <laughs> that's what's happening to me right now currently. <laughs> I had a friend who made a sound effect of me because one time I like took a hit and I went immediately went oof. And she like recorded it somehow. So she would just play the oof like every time she felt I was doing something stupid. That's funny. Which was a lot. But no, I do like a strong boy. Um, I like someone that can like lift me and like pick me up and throw me in another direction, like in another position, you know, like I want to just be like dominated. So you're very sub. But I also would like to dominate. Oh, so you're a switch. Yeah. Okay. How do you? But I want to be dominated first, and then like get to know you, and then like maybe dominate you like later yeah. on in the relationship. Yeah. That's I think when I, I have the intimate relationship is when I'm like, now I want to do this for you. I want to try things out for you. I'm not like typically into it. Yeah. I I want to, you to like dominate me. So like, because if you can't dominate me in the bedroom, then I feel like you won't be able to dominate me like in life. And I need that because I'm such a dominant person. I need someone to tell me to shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, but outside of being dominant, like, is, are there other kinks? Um, honestly, I feel like I want to get into the foot stuff more. Like one time, a guy put my foot in his mouth, like as a joke, and I liked it. But like nobody's done it to me during sex, and I kind of want to experience that. <laughs> like, okay. I feel like it'd be like I would get like really wet, like if if we were like fucking and then like you, yes, like like this position. Oh, 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 oh so sushi. Short. sushi. <laughs> <laughs> nasty right now um but like if we were like in this position so yes. i have to demonstrate and then like you put my foot in your mouth i'm getting very physical here you guys are losing your light bulbs and everything <laughs> <laughs> i love it but if we were in that position and you put my foot in your mouth i feel like it would get like it would become the ocean would, would be yeah a sea do my, you like my, the idea of like jerking somebody off with your feet um not really no but, but I you want like my your feet, feet worshipped. Yeah. But I feel like you also like that taboo shit based just like off your workplace. So what if you were like playing footsie with a guy under the table at a restaurant and then you like use your Ooh, foot to go yeah. up to his dick? Like, yeah, that would be hot. Oh, that is hot. I would hot. love to do that. Another thing, like I've only done anal twice. And like one time, the, the best time was this guy that I did it with in university. And he would like, he got his dick so wet from my pussy and then like put it in the butt and like it was so smooth transition he just really knew what he was doing and then another time i was doing it for content and it didn't happen Mm. it just didn't go in did you get prepared both times no oh you need to be prepared i wasn't prepared neither time we call back to our episode where we talk about how to prepare for anal (laughs) 
All right. How do you? Okay, I'll call back. I'll watch that. No, sure. yeah. <laughs> you gotta have someone eat your ass, and then you have someone like play oh, no. with your ass, and then they start yeah, someone putting you gotta a finger. Use lube. Okay, they, well, I they guess put the a first toy. Guy, the first guy did. The first guy did um, prepare. Oh, okay. When it's the prepared, it slips right in, and you're like, Fuck. honestly, you should be preparing everything all holes at every single time. Yeah, always. I feel like guys forget about foreplay. Guys, Constantly. it's so important. Like I, like if I'm gonna have sex, this is another reason I haven't. I've been celibate. Like this whole year. Really? So this is one of the reasons because every time I go to have sex with someone, if you don't go down on me, then I'm not going to go down on you. Yeah. Because why is it that every time we have to go down on you, but you choose you don't have to all of a sudden yeah. do the same? Because if you do go down on me, which you should, and if you don't, I'm not fucking you. But when you do, guess how much better your dick is going to feel? So, so much, much better. It's so much better. You're they're gonna feel they're gonna feel better. <laughs> like they're you're gonna be wet. Like you could be like just uh you're moving and pulsing and natural things. lubrication. Yeah. Uh I that's something I ha- I used to have like a quote on my Instagram and I like my my audience knows me as a girl who would <laughs> always about like eating ass. Like every stick post I did before, for like or years. lick it before you stick it. Yeah, and I literally was like people would be like, Oh like oh, can I take you on a date? And I'd literally message, do you eat ass? And they'd be like, uh, no, I haven't really done that before. And I'd be like, then no. <laughs> do you only spit on it, sir? Yeah. Or oh. do you put your mouth and like lick that shit up? Yeah. Mm. That's for like 20 minutes. Literally like eat it like a meal. Mm. We oh, love like that seven shit. seven course meal. So good. Mm-hmm. I'm just getting wet. Thank you. I, <laughs> I don't want to have to think. I like before we have sex because it's such a mind thing for me. You need to take me to another place before we have sex, and then when we're having sex, oh my god! And if I'm like super horny, that's when I become the kinkiest and most confident. Yeah, because oh, I get anxiety. I'll ride your sometimes. dick. I'll hop on your dick. I'll do like crazy <laughs> positions. I'll like let you fucking slap me in my, your like my face with your dick. But if I'm not horny and you don't take me to that place, I'm a dead fish. Oh yeah, yeah. Because I'm, I'm and I'll get anxiety. Like I'll be like in my head. Like I don't know. Sometimes I'll get sex anxiety if it's like my first time yeah. having sex. Yeah, and with then someone. you can't enjoy it no i'm like thinking too much i'm like oh am i like arching my back like mm. did i get every single piece of hair did my laser lady do a good job yes <laughs> oh my god having Ooh. sex with like with women is so mental like if you're not yeah. giving that then you're not gonna get exactly what you want from a woman mm-hmm. do you like dirty talk yeah i do but like i'm bad at doing it i like it when like someone's dirty talking to me and then like asks me for a response and i'll like be your dirty girl but like I won't like initiate. So you have to be prompted. Yeah, I okay. won't like initiate it. I feel weird. See, I'm like I have like anx- sex anxiety. I feel like sometimes because you need someone else to be dominant, so they make you feel comfortable in that situation. Yeah, like someone who takes control, so that you can just be like, "Oh, I can breathe." Like this is what we're doing. It's like you want to do it, but like asking and like being rejected. Yeah, I want you to just like, like take control and like do like you like what like what do you think is hot? Yeah, yeah. I have to be talked to. I, feel like I also I, really want to try like that thing that like hangs from the ceiling, like a sex swing. Yeah, I've never, I've never tried. That's I've, not, sat, I've never tried. That. I've sat in one, really, but with clothes I've never, on or like naked? with clothes on. It was my friends, and so I, she was like, "Yeah, we fuck on this all the time." And I was like, "Like this?" And I'm like putting my legs <laughs> up behind it, and she's like, "Yeah, like that." We did last night, and it's like hung up by the ceiling and thing. Oh, it was so cool! Yeah, I was, and I was like, like "This is a dream." That sounds like fun. Maybe we could try it when we go to that thing that we booked for tomorrow. My kink is like Do they doing something thing? like that, not being able we to move. We can bring our own. <laughs> Just kidding. Should we install one in our next apartment? Yeah. <gasps> yes. Have a sex only oh fans dungeon. We, yeah. Get like the, like what are the tables that you're like bent over and we have like paddles. Oh, and I'm shit. coming over with my strap on. Oh, perfect. <laughs> yeah. We should do that. When we get a podcast studio, we'll just have a separate apartment. One room is a sex dungeon and then the one room's a podcast studio. I and then we can just make I'm a ton of content. I'm, I'm over every day. <laughs> I'm coming every day. Oh, but, yeah, you but are. But we have to invite... <laughs> we, we have to invite men who will worship your feet and clean up after us. Yes. They'll pay us to come over and worship your feet and use you can use them as a footstool. Yeah. Wait, I just have to Perfect. ask. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this is a real thing. Men do this. Yeah. I love that. We yeah. had um we had Brie Asrig on and she talked about how she would go to like parties where guys would literally pay to worship your feet. And you're like a foot model and they feed you and then they just like lick your feet and suck on your toes and give you alcohol and it sounds like a dream. How, where do I sign up for this? <laughs> I know. We'll have to we have to DM her. We'll have to DM her. We yeah, should do that as a us. vlog. <laughs> yeah, that would be great. Us. But she's super into that. Her thing is like feet and her having her feet worshipped. 
Yeah, so I really want my feet worshipped. So if hit her up. Feet daddy, hit me up too. <laughs> I would want someone to pay for my pedicure first, so then I know my feet are like in perfect condition, and oh, yeah. then I'd want like yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But let's do is smash there, like, or pass. Photos for the smash or pass. Yeah. Fuck yeah. I love a good game. <laughs> Mickey's like, I gotta, he's like, I gotta fuck. Google. He's like, I've been fuck, high fuck, this whole time. I um, got pictures. Oh, he's got the receipts. Smash or Are pass. you on the list? No, uh, I mean. Because uh, I'd smash you. <gasps> oh, shit. Thank Don't tell you. our social media manager who's his girlfriend. <laughs> oh, Thank fuck. You. We'll be editing these clips. I'm going to be editing this episode with headphones on. Hey, girl. <laughs> oh, my I God. I didn't know you existed, but your man is hot. <laughs> that was, that was, <laughs> sorry. Thank you. The you think this guy's hot? Dude, that happens to me every time I hit on a guy. They always have a girl. Uh, yeah, okay. we like the unattainable. Ugh. Wait, who is we this, like Mickey? It, we, um, oh, this guy. Would you smash him? You know I don't got my glasses oh. on. Lewis, oh my God, Ned Classified. Louis Stevens from Even Stevens. Oh, AKA. wait, that's not Ned. <laughs> <laughs> so you mean Shia LaBeouf? Sh- well, yeah, in, yeah. In, in character as this guy, though. Hawaiian Shia shirt. Shia LaBeouf can get it. Hawaiian. Shia LaBeouf is abusive. Is he? Is oh, he? like. No, we're not talking about Shia. We're talking about Louis Stevens. Oh, the character. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> we're talking about Hawaiian shirt wearing Louis Stevens. He, he looks makes, 12. He makes. I think I, I used to like a 12 year old. I think I had a crush on him. Good. I think he was cute. I think I'm allergic to that weed. The same thing just happened after I smoked it. I'm having all like the allergy reaction in the in my throat. You're allergic to all weed. I know it's fucking horrible. How do I have a weed podcast and I'm allergic to weed? <laughs> I think maybe you just got some cat hair stuck in it and you burnt. You got a hairball. <laughs> hairball. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, sm- that's what it sounds like when I get head. <laughs> okay, smash, smash or, or pass. pass. Homer Simpson. Pass. Simpson. Pass. 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 I like bald guys. I'm not that bald. Okay. He's a little too dumb for me. Yeah, he's, he's a little too uh, he's round. Not the brightest bulb in the. What is oh wait, it? I got one. What is it called? That say. What's who's who's the girl from Rocket Power? I don't oh. Know. Oh, with the red hair. Yes. What's her name? Smash. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who that like is. the Pokemon girl? No, not Pokemon. Rocket Power. Rocket Power, oh. right? With no, the no, white the, suits. Yeah. With the no, not yes. No, Reggie. That's not who I'm thinking is it Reggie? Of. Oh, Re- I think it might be Reggie. Who am I thinking of? Reggie. Reggie. It's Reggie. Reggie. Who am I thinking of? I was obsessed the red hair, with Reggie. The Did you ever watch Rocket, Rocket Power? No, I never yes. watched it. Was that not in Canada? Do you have like Nickelodeon and stuff? Um, we had YTV. Do you know who I'm talking about? Can you pull her out? So interesting. Not the same shows growing up. YTV. Not all Nickelodeon. Yes. Yeah, not all Okay, wait, it. show her next. Remember the YTV bus? <laughs> yeah, wait, what was the... All right, guys. Treehouse. We had Treehouse on YTV. Smash or pass? Who is she, Mickey? Smash. She's one of the Rocket Did you play Pokemon? Power. Or, I mean... Smash I, know, I know Pikachu. <laughs> from Pokemon. Is Smash that or Pokemon? pass? Are you a video game girl? No, but I want to get into it. I used to play Sims, and I used to play Grand Theft Auto. I love the Sims. And I love Grand Theft Auto. I loved stealing people's cars and then running them over and then getting out and yeah. stealing their money and then... Taking off of the car. Which, which yeah. Grand Theft Auto? <laughs> all, any and all of them. Whatever the guy picky. that I was seeing yes. had at right. the time. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> oh my God. He'd be like, I'm playing video games. I'd be like, oh, I want to play too. What do you have? Do you have Sims or Grand Theft Auto? <laughs> Did he you ever like, do Zoo Tycoon? Oh, I love Zoo Tycoon. I loved Zoo Tycoon. I had the dopest zoo. I would always get ringtail lemurs. Oh my God. <laughs> I feel like this, tigers and elephants. I and played PC games um, when I was in Iran. I played this like Hercules game. <laughs> <laughs> like the Disney Hercules? Yeah. I played like Math, math Blaster. Oh, you know who I was? It was like smash? a math computer game. <laughs> I was on the math club in high school. Really? I totally see you be super <laughs> nerdy. Yeah. yeah. Are your parents strict? Yeah, really strict. Um, I had to sneak out of the house even when I was 18 and the drinking age was 18 where I lived. How do, yeah. they, how do they feel about your OnlyFans? Um, me and my dad didn't talk for like really f- a long time. Yeah, because people would send him like screenshots of things. Oh, yeah. And then um, recently, he's just been like kind of just making friends with me again, which is great. 
Um, but yeah, no, my mom is really supportive no matter what I do. She just says whatever you do. Because you have your mom take pictures for you and yeah, your stories all the time. Yeah. Does she travel with you? She wants to start an ASMR page. That'd be dope. She loves the ASMR stuff. She's Did like, you want to do like the yeah, she, cutting soap? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <laughs> she like wants to do that shit. She's like, I'm getting a mic. Me and Sushi are gonna. I'm Aww. like, Sushi makes no sounds, but all right, he can sit there with you. <laughs> Does she live oh, in Miami? Well, our Lola makes no sound she, either. She's going back and forth uh, okay. to Canada in here because it's so cold in Canada. Like, same reason I'm not there. In the summers, it's beautiful, and I love the weather. Yeah. And it's a vibe. But in the winter, it's just not. Like, people have seasonal depression. Yeah. It's just not the vibe. We're from, I hate the winter. We're from Boston, so, like, you feel. It's you feel so me. nice in the summer, and it's beautiful. And you look at Boston, you're like, wow, I love it here. And then it gets cold, and you're like, <laughs> you're like fuck, fuck this place. place. Yeah. I, hmm. Why do we do that? That's suspicious. Suspicious. <laughs> Are you in my head? <laughs> Dude, when you asked her about something earlier, you asked a question I was about to ask, and then you started talking, so I didn't say it. And then you asked the exact question I thought in my head, and I was like, fucking weird. What was it? <laughs> uh, it was, girl, we're too high for this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't even, I literally just remembered that we got food. I'm kind of hungry. Wait, guys, we're doing Smasher Pass. All right, two more, let's do two more <laughs> Smasher <laughs> Pass. Yeah. <laughs> Smash 2009 Snooki. 2009 Snooki. Pass. Pass. Pass 2009 Snooki. Pass. But she's a meatball. She's a ball of fun. I do love Snooki. She's a, I feel she's like a blast Emily in a glass. Pass. Guys, I feel like I want to be her you know friend, what, honestly, but I don't want to smash her. Yeah, I don't, I I don't fuck Snooki. my friends. I, I'm trying to find out your guys' types here, okay? <laughs> I would love to like just get drunk with her, like yeah. hang out. I've always wanted to be Snooki. Yeah, yeah, I think she's, she'd be a really fun person. I think when I'm drunk, out. I am Snooki. I used to be Snooki. <laughs> You do roll around a lot on the ground when you're drunk. I really do. I have so with many, my tits out. Yeah. We have, when we were on shrooms and fucked up in Cancun, she's rolling down the beach. Her titties are <laughs> fully out of her bikini, rolling into the water, yelling, and then she'd land on her knees, and then she'd like start twerking <laughs> with her titties out, a whole beach watching her at a resort. And then I'd be like, Emily, and she'd stand out, and she'd be like, what? And then she'd, like, oh, oh. And then she'd run up, and then she'd start dancing like this. I'm dead. And yeah. That I, sounds like great content. She won't let me post it anymore. I but. also, while I was there, I, um, what did I do? I skinny dipped in the ocean with a bunch of guys and they all followed me and I thought they were taking content and then they all took videos on their phone and didn't take videos on my phone. So yeah. I never got the content. And they just took videos of her streaking naked. <laughs> Honestly, it was Men a magical suck. moment. And every one of those guys has to send you a cash app right now. Yeah. Uh, five thousand dollars thank you yeah jamie made some guy um we went on the we in miami podcast she made stunt pay me a hundred dollars to look through my photo album oh yeah he was like oh let me see can i see someone's nudes and then emily was kind of like everyone was kind of boring on the show like no one was really like telling a lot of stories there was like a couple people who told like good stories but everyone was reserved so emily's like all right whatever you can look through my phone and then i go yeah that'll be a hundred (laughs) dollars i go cash up or a hundred bucks right now and then you can look through her phone he goes all right fine and then he goes take your phone i'm like no 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 fucking cash up or before you take the phone and he's like was going all in and she was like are you my pimp and he was like he's like no i got you i got you and at the end he uh he cash upped her wow yeah a little hustler jamie should be your manager i literally was like <laughs> i gotta give her 40 percent now <laughs> yeah i was like no, no 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 we can't go on a podcast and have a bunch of men see you just hand your phone of nudes over for free yeah they need to know true. they gotta pay for it when literally there is men that are paying for that yeah like, not a fair lot. not fair for him to see fair. it for free so i'm no. so happy you did that yeah <laughs> steve harvey in the 90s steve harvey can get it anyway honestly He's smash. smash. Yeah, smash. <laughs> He's fucking hilarious. Smashing. Smash. Smash. Sma- yeah, Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey. Can get it. <laughs> Sorry to his wife. Yeah. He, have you, so my girlfriend was showing uh, me when he went viral for all of his outfits because he was dressing in like the dopest, like fashion, matching suits, like oh, hats. yeah. It was, and then he was showing me the pictures and I was like, yo, he, he looks good. Like yeah, Steve Harvey's hot. Yeah. I feel like that really... Shut up, pass. Who is it? He's a Donald Trump. Donald Trump Jr. Oh, pass. Oh, pass. You know the answer. Arguably gonna... the best looking Trump, though. Not saying much. Yeah, I'm <laughs> really not saying much. better looking by his... I would say, I, first of all, I would eat Ivanka's pussy before I sucked his dick. Oh, she mm. is hot. True. I would, mm-hmm. too. She is hot. Oh, she's been she's been Tiana Trump for a minute. Okay. 
She and got he's me like, yeah, I've school. seen her. <laughs> 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 I'm so surprised they don't have their name trademarked. George Bush. Pass. Yes. Okay, I'm going <laughs> to ask you guys a smash or pass. Okay. Jason Derulo. Smash. Smash. Yeah, smash. Jason uh, Derulo. Did you just, just, <laughs> just want to fuck she, Jason Derulo? Um, I mean, I would probably smash. He looks like he could get it. He looks like he has a big dick. Jason Derulo, do you have a big dick? <laughs> I wonder if he eats pussy, though. I just question yeah, every celebrity. He doesn't look like he eats pussy. He doesn't look you don't like think he eats so? pussy. No, he doesn't. You want, you want to do Disney smash or pass? Okay, Bruno oh, Mars. Mar smash or pass, Bruno Mars. He can, he can smash just so he can sing to me or maybe write a song about oh. it. I think Bruno Mars makes love. He makes he, love. He would make I could it. See he them. would make it a moment. There'd be candles. He'd yeah, sing to you. He'd go that. down on you. Somehow, still be singing like a vin, like a <laughs> ventriloquist. <laughs> there would be like, no dominance it's coming out of your pussy. Yeah. <laughs> grenade. Wait, what's his song? <laughs> I would catch a grenade, grenade. for you. Because <gasps> yeah, no. of this bomb pussy. He, I think. Yeah, he would. He would not be dominating me, but he would be. I feel like I'd be dominating you, him. No, think of like yeah. fucking like a Spanish man. You go to another country, they don't speak any English and they're just so romantic and they just sweep you off your feet and they don't have to say much, but their voice is like magical yeah. and you're just like whatever. And then they just worship you. Like that's how so I feel Bruno like Bruno Mars is a siren. <laughs> no, a siren he would be like a mermaid in the ocean that attracts people to their death because he's so beautiful. And he sounds not, so I don't nice. even think he's cute, but I would let him hit it. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the next? TikTok has a bunch of like cartoon, Disney characters. Yeah, cartoon smasher passes. Like, I think they're weirder than my suggestion. What about All TikTokers? Right. Smash. smash. I, would, I smash. would smash. He could put a bag He's over tall. my head. He looks like he has a big dick. He looks like he skateboards, and I like skateboarders. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he wouldn't. He does look like, like make he me. Does. He looks feel like he longboards. Yeah. yeah. And I like he you. falls after a trick and he's like, fuck, <laughs> I got to try that again. <laughs> and he just never gets it. Yeah, he can get Joe it. Dirt. Who? <laughs> Joe Dirt. Who the fuck is that guy? Oh my God. Just judging by dirt. the name, pass. I'm going to say pass. Pass. I, what? Isn't there like a scene with like a ball of shit or something in that movie? The, this might Ew. as well be Joe Dirt. This is my next one. Jack Harlow. Smash. Smash. Pass. That's Joe Dirt. Pass. <laughs> what? Really? Wait, did you guys no, that's know? that's his nickname. That's did you guys a total know Jack joke. Harlow grew up rich? Really? Yeah. Really? Isn't he Jewish too? I don't know. Oh, yes. Shabbat Jack Shalom. I see no. <laughs> Kanye okay. West. All right, do we Pass. have any? Smash. Pass. Pass. I would smash the fuck out of Kanye West. Split Kanye West, decision. hit her up. This has been a we, great episode. We hope you had a great time. <laughs> 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 like, we hope you had a great time listening. Um, Ara, where can we find you? I think we already went over this, but let's no, just yeah, say it again. Let's, let's hop. We got to sell them. Yeah. Ara Queen Bay on Instagram, mm -hmm. Twitter, YouTube. Mm -hmm. My TikTok Tell just got em. deleted. I just made a new one. It's I am Ara Queen Bay on TikTok. Because she is Ara Queen Bay. Because I Bay. am motherfucking Ara Queen Bay. And you mm -hmm. can always Google me. If you can't find it, just Google Ara Queen Bay. You'll find all of the links We there. love that. Listen to her music. Stream her songs. I like them, especially Tulum, right? I love the Tulum. Yeah. And what, and what kind of um, OnlyFans content do you make? You have to subscribe and find out for yourself. I cannot spill the tea on no that. oh but it's good uh, yeah it's real good oh it, it's, it's real good. good i literally was watching a video before i came and you're like I'm and so then you hot. came yeah and then i came <laughs> all right we'll leave them with this one last yeah. question have you ever watched your own like masturbation video or a video of you and masturbated to it and came yeah i have multiple times watched my own videos i feel like that's powerful it's it's, it's hot that's another than... level of self-confidence and self-love yeah. And I love that. Yeah. It's great. Fuck watching porn. Watch yourself masturbate. This is Two Girls, One Blunt, and we will catch you next week. Bye. Peace. Bye.